What is up, guys? And of course, welcome to our Pokemon Sun and Moon Wi Fi battle versus of Chaos today uh, against Raymond or the Flaming Axel, a Russian friend of mine and a very, very good FuckTuber. Make sure to go check him out, which the link will be down below. Having that said, my team, as you guys can see on the screen, is as following Gengar, Flygon, Lizan Rock, Magmortar, Oricorio, and Glissopod. So, you know, kind of lower tier. Uh, Gengar definitely owe you, but still, you know, it's. Uh, it's not as prevalent and not as threatening, and no UBs or anything like that. Then we'll look into my opponent's team and see Wishiwashi. Okay, no problem. Uh, Jelmaiza, all right, no problem. Saigard, okay. Tabu Koko, oh. Nihilego, oh. Ah! Damn it, it's so tough of a team. But, you know, it's not impossible. I have faced threats before and dealt with them accordingly. But this is something else, and I was really scared of the Saigard being a complete form. Uh, I had I have no Pokemon with the ice moves on my team. I think it'll be like, oh shit, I'm gonna. I, I if I activate that thing, that goes off, you know, over what is it below 25% something like that, then shit is going down, and I do not want to be a part of that shit. But yeah, with that said, I felt like I really just need to you know pressure him as well as I can. I really felt that Nihil Lego probably is his style brought lead basically. So I'm going to try to, you know, waver myself around that, and since I have no way of actually getting rid of the hazard, I might as well enjoy them while they're staying. So, with of course all this said, let's see how this game turned out. Oh, I also forgot to mention, I actually start off with the Gengar, just in case he leads up with Tapu Koku. Uh, but he's going to actually lead up with Wishy Washy, and I was like, okay... That, that is a Pokemon I can't knock out of school. I'm really, really, really can't knock it out of school. And I don't know how to deal with this mount, not whatsoever. Luckily for me, I should say, he just decided to withdraw going to lose a mini. As I basically, for Thunderbolt, that would not have knocked it out, mind you guys. It would not have knocked him out. But it doesn't do anything to his uh, Nippy Lego, and I am forced to switch out. I take this opportunity to go to Mirage, of course, my flying on. Trying to set up, you know, early setup really, because like I said there, I really need to go for early damage and as fast as possible, because his team is so thick that there are only so many options I can do, so I need to dent everything that comes in. So Wishy Wash is gonna come in okay again, which is alright, let's go to the schooling form of course, and I was like, oh okay, whatever, as uh, I go for Dragon Dance as stated. Uh, I really can't switch in anything here. I need to go for Earthquake. I need to go for as much time as possible, hoping it doesn't bring in Celesteela. And the Earthquake does actually quite alright. And it's because it's a crit, of course, it would still have done around 50%, which would not have been enough to knock him out of school. But he's gonna go for Ice Beam, pop in my Yasha Berry. Yes, we do carry Yasha Berry. And look at that. Look at that. Without Yasha, we would have been screwed. But with that said, the Earthquake was a 50% hit nonetheless, so it didn't matter that it was a crit because it did preserve his schooling form, but it still kind of sucks that, um, well, clearly, uh, don't want to have early game crits, really don't want that. So Rocket Power is going to come in, and uh, trust me guys, I have no switch in here, I need to go for high damage. While I wanted, of course, having a Fire Punch on this one, you can't have it till Bank is out, so Super Power is the next best thing, as we can get popped by the Celesteela. Which is okay. I'm not that scared of Celesteela, at least not yet. I still have my Mortar. My Mortar should be more than enough to further her out, as we actually do carry the likes of Earthquake on this one, where our naive nature basically to preserve some speed, but also being able to hurt on the physical side, even though I'm mostly special. So Punish Shan is gonna come in, we don't course the Saigar, we see Aura Breaks. So that was like a relief, because that meant, right, it's not the worst set. But at the same time, I really can't dent this guy whatsoever. Um, and we see leftovers and all of thinking, all right, this is the coil set. Oh my god, I can't, I can't do anything to this. <laughs> so I'm gonna bring dust bites, uh, basically my blizzard pot here. I'm gonna go for as you know heavy damage as possible because the liquidation will hurt it actually uh, quite a lot. And I have basically the option here to thinking whether or not he's dragon tail or if it is you know. Um, Dragon Tail or what do you call it, Outrage or whatever, uh, I have the option to at least check that out. So I'm, I think I'm going for, for first impression first off here, basically to scout out for the Dragon Tail. That is not what happened, Thousand Arrows is the optimal play here. It hits everything. When I say everything, I mean everything. Um, since of course Thousand Arrows is of course the move to use to hit Flying and Levitating Pokemon. The signature move from Saigar only took one generation! 
for that to happen. We waited and we got him. Saigor went from, you know, a pretty, pretty bad Pokemon to, uh, oh my god, I don't want to see you ever again, you son of a bitch. Or, you know, Snake. It, it turned Snake on us. And I really, really can't do anything. I'm just going to go for damage over and over and over and over. Uh, Emergency is going to kick in anyway, and uh, I can you know, try to use my ability against that. Citrus Spare is mainly there to make sure that Emergency Exit does not kick as fast. At least it's going to get the Liquidation Yellow again. I really was baiting for that defense drop, but it just wasn't coming. Um, and I could have gone for a Sucker Punch here, but really, I was pretty sure it was going to coil up again. He doesn't do that, it goes with Thousand Errors again. And Emergence X is now going to, of course, force us out. So that's a great set with Golisopod. Citrus Berry mainly to actually stay in a little bit longer. So I'm going to bring Oricorio here. And I don't have Hidden Power Ice. I do not. But I have Hurricane. I need to land Hurricane. The Hurricane will not be a KO when it has a Manium Nation. But, you know, for what I got and the coils we got, I just need the damage. And it's actually a 50% freaking hit. And we get the Confusion. Well... A Cyber Confused might look as a, you know, redeeming thing to happen, but no, it's a thousand arrows. It doesn't hit himself in Confusion or Korra will fall. It's a super effective hit. I don't think it is. I think actually it's reduced it. Whatever they... Anyway. Um, why wasn't that super effective? I'm still actually like, whatever. Uh, what I'm trying to say here is that shit. I really can't dent this guy. So I'm going to go to my Gengar. I'm going to go for a Shadow Ball. I try to do damage. I see him bring loose Amina. And uh, I did say that I am Scarf, so I'm able to outspeed Tapu Koko, actually, which was the reason for it. And uh, I don't do as much damage as I was hoping for. I'm gonna go for another Shadow Ball. Pretty sure I can take whatever hits comes my way. And uh, I would say it's a fair, fair to say that. But um, yeah, I mean, it didn't necessarily help that did it. So while I do live the hits, he will would manage to survive me. And I really don't have anything to switch in here. I'm gonna hope this Shadow Ball kind of works, but it won't. It's so close, though. It's, like, disgustingly close. And I'll just lose a Sazel here. The Curse Bite, I think, can get in, though. Which means a Sludge Bomb is his only attack move to get it with Thunderbolt. Which means that I can bring in Ronse, my, of course, Lizanne Rock, and actually go for a Sword Stance. Because, yet again, like the Flying on situation, I need to get damage done. And uh, there will only be so many chances I might be able to pull this off. So Sword Stance is the ideal play, and uh, he's going to go for Sludge Bomb, you know, since there are really no redeeming moves for him left to use, and he does so much damage. Like, it's not very effective. Yeah, my Lucerox freaking lost a leg there, buddy. But anyway, we're just going to go for Stellar Rocks because Stone Edge is as reliable as ever, so boom, Lusamine or Nihilio is gone. Thank you for that. As uh, he's now going to lead, of course, with um, Celestila, you know, Silly Steela, super threatening, right? You know, the Pokemon's super defensive, everybody hates. Fuck off, you freaking bamboo steel shit. You have no chance. For, of course, Luzan Rock. Huh, 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 huh. Yeah, awful. Anyway, Tapu Koko come in. I need to go to Excel Rock. Raymond, of course, do realize that he's in a tough spot here. And he does the, a very, very good play, really. Because he forces me to go to Excel Rock as he's switching his Quinishan. Which, of course, being a Psyguard, which means, oh no, it's Psyguard! You, you remember him, right? He is in again! He, and I can't, I can't, clearly can't touch him. Uh, so I'm gonna follow my own life for which, you know, that, that is just beautiful. As I am now forced to go to Magmortar and basically land a Focus Blast. If I don't land this Focus Blast, I have lost the game. There is no way for me of coming back from this game. And, uh, yeah, so it looks like we're staying. Looks like it's not completely over. Having that said, uh, there's still a, I, it's a still you know a slippery slope here because Tapu Koko will come in yet again, and I can't outspeed it, and at the same time I really can't do anything about it. So he goes for Thunderbolt. It's gonna wreck my Grexa. It's a poor body really. As we get the opportunity to bring in, of course, uh, the Golisa boy or the Dust boy yet again, and um, well I could go for first impression, which is no, it's my best move before I basically fall here. Uh, he actually got to optimize to switch out. I don't really know why, but I don't really. It's alright, is what I'm trying to say. As he brings up David Jones, of course, the Dolomites. But uh, yeah, the thing is here, it necessarily can't do anything to me outside of Power Whip. But um, I also should have gone for a Sucker Punch. I don't know why I didn't do that. But it goes for Anchor Shot, luckily for me, I should say. 
as that will of course bring me to of course surviving. Then again, I'm pretty sure Ray at this point just trying to, you know, make it a 1-0 because had he stayed in with Sabukoko, kept going for Thunderbolts, he would have won the game right there and then. What I'm trying to say is that I lost. There is just no way I can bring on that Sabukoko and quite honestly, and there was no way in hell I was going to win the game after my Gengar went down because of the Tapu Koko sweeping capabilities for the team I brought. But even with that said, I still had a blast this game. Even though, you know, I'm facing, what is it, one Tapus and three UBs, I still do kind of fear considering that I did a few misplays, or not really misplays, I wouldn't call them that, but I tried to optimize myself so much against a team that just was so ferocious and so hard for me to actually walling. And the thing is here, the only way I was gonna win was if I did a perfect game and Raymond played kinda shitty. Raymond did not play shitty. And I really think I do the optimal plays, at least from time to time. I do try to break apart the team, but you know, playing really, really offensive with Flygon and, and uh, of course the Xanarok setting up turn 1, but once of course the Saigar came in, Ray just simply had the game. That monster of a Pokemon simply held on, and it held on really well. I just couldn't break it, and Ray knew that and definitely abused it against me, and it worked like a charm. So, Raven, good job, buddy, and uh, make sure to, of course, check him out down below. Raven is one of the best spellers that I do know about, and it's always a blast challenging him, trying to defeat him. We aren't even grounds, like I said, with similar teams, but when the, the team strengths are different, it's very clear how well he can play, and my god, he pushed me back well this time, so good job on you, buddy. If everybody has been watching, make sure to, of course, question of course is a question of the day, and of course, with that said, I will we'll see you guys in the next video. Until then, guys, take care, and remember, another one bites the dust bite. Bye.